after discussing 10 indications of a great Ketu, we are here with 10 indications of a great Rahu. So do you have a Rahu in your chart? I'm sure you do. Everybody does. But are you confused? My Rahu is exalted, debilitated, afflicted with benefits in Dustan, in trines. Uh, oof, so many things, right? Now, I have a lot of videos on Rahu Ketu's practical analysis. So if you actually want to know what Rahu Ketu will do for you, Please watch those videos, okay? But if you want the shortcut, if you want to know if your Rahu is good or it has some challenges, <laughs> then here are 10 points. Now, these 10 points does not mean that if you have these, you have a great Rahu, but it means if your overall chart is good, then you can conclude that, yes, sir, my Rahu is reasonably very good, okay? But these factors could also be there because of other placements, okay? But nonetheless, if uh, you have six or seven or at least five or six of these factors, then you can say for sure that your Rahu is considerably very well placed, irrespective of astrological parameters, okay? So this is the shortcut. All right, so what is the first, first, first? This is very, very, very important. The first indication that you have a great Rahu is you can come out of illusions very easily. A bad Rahu will do exactly the opposite. It will put you in illusion, which means you see certain things and you start believing. Okay, if Rahu is badly placed, but if Rahu is well placed, then you know that uh, this is maybe an illusion. It's too good to be true. All right. So therefore, if it happens in your life that when you see, suppose you see somebody is smoking, okay, now smoking, drinking, all this is under a uh, bad Saturn, bad Rahu, okay, because this shows lack of self-control, sense control. So now, if you see a person is smoking or drinking and you know he or she has ruined uh, their life, then now you don't get into it. You, you see and you learn, okay, so that's a quality of a great Rahu. You do not get into Maya, okay. Now... Because of this, we come to point number two, which is you can pick scams and scammers very easily, which means, as I said, you can get you, you get this vibe that it's too good to be true. So suppose somebody is trying to, you know, uh, sell something, somebody is trying to speak something which is not correct, which is actually not correct. So and even if millions of people are believing uh, him, or her, but you know, mm, this is not the truth, okay? Because Rahu gives you this, uh, this typical weird mindset of doubting things always for good sometimes, okay? Which is, which is again, uh, not bad, uh, but you need to understand that you have to trust people someday, okay? Not, you don't have to trust everybody, but when it comes to certain things like, you know, your spiritual practices, your guru, your god, Many times people with a bad Rahu, they'll say, oh, this guru is a scammer, you know, I won't, I won't practice, you know, but you have to practice, you have to put your faith somewhere, right? You have to start. But later on, if you see that uh, the spiritual practice or the institution is not bona fide, it's not representing what they speak, then you may distance yourself, okay? But in general, uh, you can pick scams very easily, okay? So if you get a message or email from somewhere and if you doubt if it's a scam then this is a shortcut pick some friend or relative who has a good rahu and then they will tell you if this is a scam or not <laughs> you cannot trick people who have a good rahu it's very difficult because rahu represents tricking others <laughs> all right number three you have extremely high intuition extremely high which means you 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 can almost predict what's gonna happen rahu is that it's not sixth sense it's like 60th sense <laughs> it's the seventh or eighth <laughs> you 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 know it's coming you know so it's true it's scams you you see and you know it's a scam but you're not telling it you are just like oh maybe <laughs> <clears throat> you're smiling inside and you're like, okay, I'll let you talk, but I know who you are. 
so that's that's an extreme intuition okay or something bad is going to happen in your life and you kind of get the feeling you know from today morning something is not correct you know maybe yeah it does not feel good feel right or you go to buy a house and you have a gut feeling uh, something is wrong and later on you realize there was a graveyard uh, in the land which they built it okay so your intuition is at the peak always okay <clears throat> Now, number four, you do healthy risk assessment. So whenever there is a situation in your life where you need to take some risk, so you weigh the pros and cons. You do it in a healthy way. You, you do not get into illusion. Remember point number one, you come out of illusion. You can, first of all, you don't get into illusion. You can stay out of illusion and you can also pull others out of illusion. Okay. So therefore you can do proper risk assessment. So for example, uh, if you have difficulty in uh, taking decisions in life, then you can consult somebody has a, uh, who has a strong Raho. Then what happens is you will be able to make a decision uh, with that person's guidance because uh, that person can actually somehow using his uh, sixth sense, seventh sense, you know, they can understand, are you like, you know, are you, will you be okay or, you are aiming too high for yourself, okay? So therefore, healthy risk assessment is very important. Number five, this is very crucial. You have extreme courage for the good, okay? Without any fear of the unknown. So for example, if there is a task which comes in your life, which you have never attempted before, a person with a good Rahu will be very courageous and uh, he will say, okay, I will go and do this. Okay, I don't care. Even if I have done it before, I have not done it before. Okay, I don't care. But a person who has a bad Rahu can either have no courage for the good or can have courage for wrong things, you know, like violence, like unwanted violence, you know, like uh, hatred, social media, or bullying, basically. Okay, so a person with a bad Rahu will always stay superficially humble in front of a person who is more powerful than them and a person with a good rahu uh, will be uh, will be fearless in front of anybody irrespective of their power okay this is similar to martian traits but you have to understand mars represents courage in generic circumstances okay oh something happened this happened that happened okay i need courage but suppose there are extreme scenarios like you know you you are in a place and the whole house is burning okay there is fire and there's somebody inside and you need to you need to bring that person out so for that you need a good rahu because rahu is the, your ability to deal with unknown situations and unknown circumstances okay so therefore if your rahu is well placed you can you can somehow see through what is there okay physically you you can see uh, in the subtle realm okay it's not that you literally go there with your subtle body and you see it, but you can kind of see through your intuition. Very, very, very important. And yes, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and share this video with somebody who wants to know how the Rahu is. And for consultations, please go to my website down in the description section always. All right. Now, number six, this I've already mentioned, but I'm mentioning it again. You are a very good problem solver because... You can take proper risks, you have courage, you can solve things, you know, so you become kind of uh, everybody's, uh, should I say, savior, <laughs> which means you, you are a person in your friend circle who everybody calls when they have some serious problem, okay, not, not some generic problem like, you know, I want money or I'm not getting married or some, not, not, not such things, but Oh, this, you know, uh, somebody scammed me. I lost, uh, you know, 2 lakh rupees. You know, I, I lost uh, $10,000. What will I do now? Where should I go? So, so if you get constantly bombarded with these queries from your inner circles, then uh, maybe your Rahu is very good. Congratulations. Number seven, very, very, very important. You believe in constant feedback which means you put out something and then you see if it works. So you believe in this trial and error, okay? So you you test yourself and your products and your services. So you always, you are obsessed with getting feedback because you want, you, you 
you want to make things perfect now how how can you make things perfect you are not god nobody is except god so you have to try what you believe and then you have to see are how people are responding to it right if if they are not responding then uh, you have to change it otherwise you are in trouble but a person who has a bad rahu will not be able to accept uh, the necessary feedback or the person will think oh this this feedback is actually not relevant to me or this person does not like me so he is giving me bad feedback okay <clears throat> but if you have a good rahu you can you are obs you, you not only like uh, feedback but, but you are obsessed day and night you are like okay every time i do something i need to know how is it turning at the end okay Number eight, you have very strong eagerness to learn about different cultures, beliefs, you know, different religions, different different languages, okay, different food. So you are open, you are broad-minded to accepting different ideologies, you know. So suppose you are a right winger, if you have a strong Rahu, then you will also be ready to hear somebody from the left, okay. If you are a centrist, you may always want to hear the right and the left and try to see you know how the things can merge and if you are a, a left leaning person <clears throat> then you will also want to hear the right sometimes okay uh, or you may not implement but you will be eager to know and hear at least okay it's also like feedback you know you will ask this is how it is done in my culture how is it done in yours okay so you will be inquisitive about other people other culture and other beliefs okay and also other people, as I said, people in the sense, you know, you would have a generic strong curiosity for curiosity for everything in life. Okay. Number nine, you can initiate and complete projects. A bad Rahu will either not initiate or initiate and not complete. But a good Rahu will initiate and also complete projects. So therefore, I think this is the most crucial long-term way to know how your Rahu is placed. Can you just check 20-30 years of your life? Are you very good at starting and then not finishing? Or you don't start itself, you know, like there are so many people who tell me, oh, they want to open a YouTube channel, uh, but they don't start. Why? Because they are very concerned, you know, how they are looking in the video, uh, how, how is their makeup appearing, you know, how is their English, how is their Hindi, how is, you know... Uh, how's the camera how is this how is that so they're they're so much uh, fearful and they are so pessimistic that they don't even start and thinking like this they've spent five years okay or maybe even more <laughs> so you should start with whatever you have okay you, you don't have to get a plastic surgery you don't have to have the world's best camera the best mic you don't you can do it gradually when you get wealthy but you don't have to do it on day one, okay? If every YouTuber would have thought like this, then there would be no YouTube channels, okay? Number 10. This is good, but this can be gray. <laughs> you have a healthy fascination for luxuries. Healthy fascination, okay? So luxurious car, home, you know, luxury products and all this. The Venusian things, but in a healthy way. Okay, so you like to take vacations, you like to withdraw, you like to like, you know, go into seclusion and, you know, spend time with your family, you like to travel, good, but in a healthy way, you, it's not like, you know, traveling uh, or buying luxuries by taking loans, okay, it's, it's not that, okay, so as they say, there are people who buy things that they don't like to impress people, no, what was that? <laughs> to impress people that they don't like they buy things with money that they don't have to impress people that they don't like neither do they like them <laughs> okay so very 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 important if your rahu is badly placed you'll be like oh every day i want a new car okay every every new model comes you know iphone this that you you will always run like a dog behind luxuries you'll run behind the opposite sex you'll run behind pornography and all this okay so therefore, if your Rahu is well placed, you will have a good taste of luxuries, but in a healthy way. Very, very, very important. All right. Thank you so much for your patience. Please comment down below which wall of the 10 do you possess, okay? Irrespective of how your Rahu is placed, okay? And if you know anybody who has 
five, six, or seven of these traits, please write their name and tag them. I don't know if you can tag in YouTube, maybe not, but you can write their name, okay? <laughs> and share this video with someone, all right? Thank you so much for your patience. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And if you're new, then please uh, subscribe to the channel. And for consultations, you can go to my website down in the description section. Thank you so much.